Magnetic fields, what are magnetic fields with regard to do with planet Earth? Uh, you might have uh, been listening or following some of the uh, you know, news in information that's been spreading around, especially by Ben Davidson. I would urge you, definitely recommend you to um, listen to him, follow him, subscribe his channel. I mean, he's the, I would say, the really one of the few experts, at least, you know, uh, who who can, you know, condense this to a, um, you know, on a level that that is comprehensible, you know, uh, solar storms, solar flares, micronova, Earth's magnetic fields are weakening, have been weakening. And um, I just want to, you know, just uh, go right into the topic. So this is um, the magnetic field of the Earth. And as Ben Davidson says here, uh, I think it is his own commentary, uh, it was at near maximum strength until 1859. And by the year 2000, uh, the magnetic field, or magnetosphere if you want to call it, uh, of, the, of planet Earth was down to 90% strength and down to 85% in the year 2010. So we have used, and he says, uh, he continues, he says, we have used auroral activity and satellite issues, along with several scientific studies and subsequent geomagnetic changes to estimate that by the year 2023, and now we have 2024, the magnetic field was down, um, or is down by at least 25 to 30%. So that means, which means the total strength of the magnetic field, of, of Earth's magnetic field between 70 and 75%. So as you can see here, we are here, this is 2020, 2030, all right? So I guess uh, with this purple point, he's um, implying or he's demonstrating that uh, with this triggering point or precipice or I don't know, uh, it's some kind of, um, it's an acceleration point, right? So once we reach this, um, there will be an exponential I would say by orders of magnitude acceleration of Earth's magnetic fields uh, uh, decrease, uh, decrease or the decreasing or weakening of Earth's magnetic field or magnetosphere. What does it mean? It means that planet Earth is already and will be more and more faster and faster and by orders of magnitude more vulnerable to yeah, to anything. I mean, beginning with, I don't know, solar flare, solar storms. Uh, you might have heard of the Carrington event, but the Carrington event was in the 1850s, 1870s or something like that. But at that time, so that's here, about here, that was, that's what the, where the Carrington event took, took place around to this, around 1850, 1870. I'm not, I'm not sure exact date, but you can find it out. So the current event, uh, you know, a lot of uh, whatever they had, you know, on information on communication systems or a telegraph or telephone or whatever, <coughs> everything stopped working. So the infrastructure, the information communication st structure we're talking about. And now we have like, you know, by orders of magnitude, you're more advanced, you know, satellite system, information communication systems, you know, on Earth, in sky, in you know, in all on all kinds of levels. So this, uh, we are, we, and we will be more vulnerable. And uh, the point I was trying to make is that uh, in the eighteen fifties, eighteen seventies, or whatever, um, around this time, the Earth's magnetic field was, as you can see, um, was as a near, as a at a near maximum strength. So that means the Earth was not so vulnerable as it is now and will be more exponentially faster. Now, while the whole world and, you know, most of humanity, I mean, you know, it's not their fault. It's not our fault, to be honest. We are so under pressure, under stress, uh, exploited, enslaved, you know, by the fiat banking, financial, central banking, military, industrial pharmaceutical, governmental, states, uh, nation, whatever, psyop complex, 
you know where I'm going with this, but uh, people just don't. What I'm trying to say is that people just don't have, simply said, don't don't have the time, the resources, the energy to uh, to question anything. I mean, beginning, you know, in educational system because that's not wanted, right? You, they don't want it. It's not wanted. It's, you know, they don't want kids or children, teenagers or students to question. <laughs> propagandized, uh, dogmatized, indoctrinated narratives, uh, you know, all these, you know, uh, the lies that have been, you know, just pumped into our brains um, or download, or uploaded into our brains, sort of. I mean, you know, people just don't have time, right? And um, to do their own research, to question the narratives, the propaganda, the psyops, the false flags, the inside jobs, the uh, you know uh, the the suppressed uh, technologies, uh, the hidden technologies, the all I mean everything that you can think of. Now I'm going I know from one rabbit to another, but that's the whole point, right? We need to connect the dots and think and comprehend and process uh, things and you know. Um, questions and research and science i mean what is science you know you, you science is the essence of science is to question right is to uh when you find you know factual evidence more data uh more you know just just more information and 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 especially when it's observable when it's measurable <laughs> Then you need to reassess, uh, re reevaluate, reinterpret everything, probably everything, pretty much everything, right? In every fucking field of science or technology. So we have a problem here. We have a real problem, and uh, and it's not even over yet. And, it, and I th I think if you follow Ben Davidson works on uh, YouTube, suspicious observers, or on X Twitter, under his handle name uh, Sunweather Man. But, you know, follow his work. I mean, he's one of the few, I mean, people that can, you know, absorb, digest, internalize, interpret. You know, he can read lots of books and articles like in, in, in super speed time. He's got like sort of a autistic, you know, like a genius talent skill or um, where he can process things in uh, ex exponentially faster than the average human being. And then you know, put uh, put those things together, uh, connect the dots. <laughs> Sorry, I'm for my cr uh, chronic coughing. I've been having, unfortunately, for several weeks, and I'm trying to get rid of it. But yeah, so uh, again, uh, we have a problem here, and uh, people are just I don't know, um, just too busy, ignorant, arrogant. I don't know. You know, it's not really. It's not. Uh, I'm not trying to be condescending, con condescending or anything else, but. It's just a lot of brain masturbation is going on, has been going on. And, you know, people just are in their own, you know, they're in the work, in their research, in their whatever, in their in their field of interest. But, and this is what I've been trying to, you know, to tell a lot of people right now, especially on, uh, you know, who are, you know, extremely intelligent, investigative, uh, you know, researchers, uh, journalists, uh, insiders, whistleblowers, scientists, engineers, inventors, Please get together. The time is ticking, tick, 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 and it's ticking faster and faster. So uh, we need to sit together. You know, I'm just, I'm just a, you know, I'm just a regular guy. You know, who's, uh, yeah. I mean, I've, I've done, you know, a lot of research. I've even done my, uh, you know, in a very special field of 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 law, product liability. I, uh, you know, I did like at least uh, 15 years of research in, in total, in totality, uh, within the uh, once, you know, secret or confidential uh, internal documents of the tobacco industry, cigarette corporation. I met, you know, I went to the United States, Germany, other countries, you know, met with insiders, whistleblowers, and I wrote my PhD, uh, my thesis on the product liability of the cigarette corporations based, rooted, uh, uh, in the internal documents of the tobacco industry, cigarette corporations, on based on the testimonies, or you know inside information, where I had at least was able to connect the dots, you know, to look within the millions and tens and tens of millions, or maybe even fifty, hundred millions of documents. Otherwise, I couldn't have you know 
had the time, you know, to um, because there were codes and I'm just trying to to tell you that it needs a lot of uh, energy, you know. So really, kudos to all these people out there, investigative journalists such as Whitney Webb, Ashton Forbes, Ben Davidson, you know, who really sit down and put a lot of, uh, you know, heart, soul, energy, blood, sweat, resources, time, you know, while having, you know, taking care of half family and, and taking care of existential things, uh, surviving and living and, you know, feeding your family. And so these people, you know, not only believe, they know, they trust in their, in their, in their calling, in their mission. Um, this is what they do. But I'm trying here, what I'm trying to do, what I intend to do is to bring all these people together because each one of those people, I mean, whoever that is, you know, Ben Davidson, uh, Whitney Webb, Ashton Forbes, uh, Scott Ritter, you know, with a ge uh, geopolitical, whatever background, milita military uh, insiders. You know, I I'm talking about ethical people, not people, you know, who are on the fucking satanic evil um, side and who just want to, you know, exploit and enslave and hurt and, you know, and kill other people or, I don't know, or reduce the population. I mean, the, the, the things that have ju just been going on, I mean, just, just look at all this whole whatever, you know, bioweapon injection thing, COVID or whatever. <laughs> God, you can't even say the word. I mean, it's, it's you know, otherwise they censor you. It's, 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 it's just mind boggling. It's fucking mind boggling. The censorship, the systemic, you know, censorship, everything. So we need to get, we need, uh, and I'm, I'm, try, I'm, I'm reaching out to you, to every one of you. I mean, try to help me um, do something. You can do your part, you know, do a tweet, you know, post it, uh, share this video with your friends, with your family, make a, you know, your own personal comment or uh, reshare it with a quote, with a post, um, with some kind of text and, you know, and, and you know, tag, uh, you know, all the, you know, whatever prominent podcasters, if you want, Joe from Joe Rogan to Tucker Carlson, I don't care, you know, anybody. I mean, you know, I still have my reservation about, you know, the one and the other podcaster because they they either are, I don't know, it's sort of, a, it seems to me, sometimes limited, lang, hang, a limited hangout, psyop, they're scared, threatened, intimidated, you know, and they, they got this, you know, financial independence, you know, especially Joe Rogan. I mean, the, he's built an empire, you know, the guy, you know, is probably swimming in a pool of, you know, I mean, a lot of money, right? It's often, and then you've got your own family. I mean, I, I, I understand. I'm just saying, I mean, I understand. I comprehend. I, I do. I too. I feel total empathy with the people, you know, who, you know, especially in discussions with some uh, insiders, whistleblowers, um, you know, experts. They don't dare to. I don't know, ask the right questions or they just, you know, they just go around the curvature and like, hey, you all, you're almost there. You're almost there. Why don't you don't, why don't you ask a question? Either, you know, actively, passively, they just don't go into the topic, you know, or into the, into the, the they don't, they don't, they don't focus. They don't, they're not pinpointing. I don't know. They, maybe they're just scared, afraid to, you know, uh, speak the often the obvious uh, you know, articulate the obvious, you know, whatever that is, you know, the systemic genocide or systemic, I don't know, child trafficking, systemic uh, assassinations, systemic uh, suppression and, um, and compartmentalization of existing um, super advanced technology. I mean, you know, forget all this, you know, alien crap reversal. I mean, I'm talking about technologies that have been, de been developed, tested and produced, right, made, with at least within the last 75, 80 years, right? If not, okay, let's just say in the last few decades, you know, I mean, we could literally travel from one star to another, from one planet to another. It just, just because the problem is I th that I see uh, is that just because people, just because uh, people cannot imagine things doesn't mean it cannot exist, let alone comprehend, you know, and that's the way it is, right? And I don't know, um, uh, there's just so much indoctrination and, uh, and brainwashing been going on uh, 
for everybody, I guess, right? I mean, for nearly everybody in from, you know, starting in kindergarten in, I don't know, in the family environment, the, the, your your whole, you know, environment, kindergarten, school, and then you go to college, university, and then the media, and then, you know, all, you know, who writes the books? Who, who dictates what's inside the book? It doesn't matter, you know, with its history or science, physics, chemistry. I mean, I had super, you know, grades, you know, I, I had super, you know, grade point average in school or university, but does it mean I'm super smart, smart, clever. I do question. No, nothing. I mean, it's not wanted. They don't. They don't want you to question things. That's the problem. That's the way it starts. <laughs> Sorry about that. But um, so we need to start questioning everything now, and we don't. We don't have much time. If you follow, for example, you know the work of Ben Davidson, you know you you understand. You begin to understand. I mean, just go on. Let me just show you on, um, where is it? Um, uh, where is, uh, let me just show you here. All right, let me show you uh, the, the channel of, all right. You gotta, you gotta just, you know, just, just watch some of these, uh, you know, super short documentaries, or there's some even really short, like 15, 16, 17 minutes by Ben Davidson. This is his uh, YouTube channel. Please subscribe, follow his work. He's on uh, Sun Weatherman on Twitter or X, but on YouTube, it's Suspicious Observers. Just, just do your homework. I mean, this is what he says. He's sometimes pretty salty, especially on live stream when people ask him, you know, just super like, like. The questions, you know, they're repeating over and over again. So he always says, "Hey, you know what? Please go do your damn homework." And 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 I've done this myself. So I did it, and I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I have the bigger picture now, right? I mean, I don't understand every fucking detail, but I understand, you know, the Earth is ice cycle. I understand what slow, solar forms, so, solar flares, solar storms, geomagnetic excursions, micronova, and especially. Especially uh, the ever increasing um, <coughs> weakening of Earth's magnetic field. It started in 1850, but as I showed you, right? As I showed you on this graph, uh, again, this is uh, uh, given by um, with credit goes due goes to um, Ben Davidson. It's been weakening exponentially faster. So we are down to, yeah, we got the year 2024 so around, I don't know, 70%, 75%. And once we reach 2030, it will even be more, even by orders of magnitude fast. As you can see, it's like, a, I don't know, it's just on a 90 degrees angle, right? It just goes down. And then what does it mean? It means once it, uh, this triggering point is reached, the tipping point, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's Earth. It's just planet. It's a speck of dust. I mean, we think uh, the problem is we, we, we as a human being, as humanity, as a human species on this planet Earth, we think, you know, we own everything <laughs> and we think we're so fucking important. We're a speck of a dust. I mean, just looking at the solar system, our own you know, sort of our solar system and the galactical arm, just the like galactical arm of the galaxy we're within. Now, the thing is that's been going on for eons, whatever, thousands, mil hundred thousands, millions, billions of years. The problem is if you look at it and astrophysicists will tell you that, right? So the, the planet Earth was down there somewhere on the you know wider angle of the galactical arm of uh, of the galaxy we we you know we still are right, but the thing is we are being we have been sucked faster and faster into the uh, direction of the core of the galactical arm, right? So we are within one galactical arm. The problem is the pressure is is gaining you know more and more momentum and it's increasing the magnetical as we as we you know as we should correctly say the magnetical and gravitational forces 
have been and are increasing by orders of magnitude. So this is why it's we're not down there anymore. We are already somewhere, you know, more much, much higher into the galactical arm of the galaxy. So everything is changing, everything is transforming. So this is on top of that, right? Now I'm not gonna even talk about, you know, it's just a total bigger and different, you know, can of worms, the universal transformations, but I'm just talking about our solar system and that the fact that the planet Earth is being sucked faster and faster into the, you know, into the spiral arm of the, you know, of into this more and more into the center of the uh, of that galactical arm, which which you know, the, not only our solar system but other solar systems are are located within. So everything um, now, you know, I don't want to even go into the spiritual aspects or whether it's coincidence or not or whatever, but I do find it. I mean, if you think about it, if you really contemplate about it, if you really meditate on it. Everything has been going on right now within the last months and years and decades. It just everything, you know, especially everything is satanic, evil, and really, you know, genocidal and systemic child trafficking, systemic, you know, pedophilia, killings, rape, war, destruction, exploitation, enslavement. I mean, whatever you can think of, whatever you, I mean... It's just so beyond imagination, so beyond comprehension that sometimes I'm thinking maybe it has to be, maybe it must be, maybe there's a reason somehow, a cosmic, spiritual, creator-rooted, um, you know, incentive or reason or uh, essence why all these processes also are accelerating by orders of magnitude faster and faster, beginning, you know. With the weakening, which we can measure, which which can see, which we can, you know, I mean, there is even much more studies which have been, you know, with the astrophysicists. I mean, now besides the scientists and everything and technologists, I'm, we're going to talk about that maybe later, right? Because that would be the solution, and we have. What if we tell? What if I tell you we have the solution <laughs> to create and let's just call it an artificially created magnetosphere, a magnetic field around the Earth so we can protect ourselves, you know, from these, uh, unima you know, immense, you know, super strong, you know, solar flare, solar storms that's going to just knock out and destroy everything. Beginning, you know, with the all the information, communicate, that everything that makes your life easy, cheesy, convenient, comfortable, you know, beautiful, you know, um, gone, that'll be gone. You know, what, you know, the moment, you know, you can't flush your toilet because everything is, you know, connected, you know, we need energy, right? And while, you know, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm a Bitcoiner and a Bitcoin Maximum, I'm an educator and podcaster, you know, because I, I truly believe in the future, in the only solution, root solution of Bitcoin for, a, you know, a normally functioning, working human civilization, human species. But for that to function, we need the fundamental, you know, root basis foundation. And that is the communication information system. I've been trying, you know, to really, I've been trying to, I don't know, to trigger discussion, the debate or something, a conversation with the people who, you know, who have been building art building at the beginning with A, Adam, Adam Beck, to every other other Bitcoin I know out there. But there seems... Hardly, hardly, just a couple of, you know, people I know, you know, Bitcoin space, but the people who could, you know, uh, you know, roll this out, this conversation, because it's existential. What the fuck are you going to do when you don't have any information communication systems like that? And it's gone. And I'm talking permanently. Because until, you know, we reset our civilization and, and I mean, the reality is unless... <clears throat> We bring out, we disclose, we release, I don't know, we somehow get rid, you know, uh, and, and obsolete and, I don't know, and, and uh, get rid, you know, just get rid of all these evil people uh, who are in control of the fiat central banking, military, industrial, pharmaceutical, financial, state, governmental complex. 
and bring out the technologies, we are doomed. I mean, this is the reality of truth. This is the reality we got to face. And um, we are eight, 8.5 billion people and around, uh, and that's not my estimates. I'm not sucking it out of my fingers. I think these are even Ben Davidson's and other experts' um, estimates and assessments. Uh, 75, 80, maybe even more, 85, 90% of Earth's population, of Earth's civilization, will be gone. They will be gone. I mean, you got to face that. Now, the thing is, if I didn't have, if we didn't have a child, if I, a beautiful cosmic daughter, you know, or maybe like you, you, you might have children, you know, you wouldn't probably give a fuck, right? You would just say, you know what? Fuck it, take me. I mean, you know, if you are spiritually strong, if you're, if you're truly, uh, if you understand, comprehend the essence of creation, the essence of your soul, the essence of, of, of universe, of cosmos, you know, I'm not talking about fucking esoterics, you know, all these pseudo spiritual people. I'm talking about like, you know, connecting the factual reality, the reality of truth with science, with reality, with, <laughs> with emotions, with your soul, with it be, you know, your spiritual soul, your physical soul. I mean, with the creator, right? Then, you know, you, you, you just have a different perspective on no, a position. But the thing is, everything changes. You know, when you have children, you do want them, you know, to be on this planet Earth. It's a beautiful planet. I mean, look at it, right? Let's be honest with one another. It's a fucking beautiful planet. It's a gorgeous planet. It's a car. It's a really, it's, it's, it's unique. And, you know, look what they've did, what they've done to, to this you know, to human civilization, to humanity, to hum human. I mean, there's so much pain and suffering. We could have so much abundance. And this is why I'm such a big fan, by the way, of Jeff Booth. Um, why deflation is the key to an abundant future. I mean, he's a total Bitcoin maximalist by now. And and I've tried, you know, in our conversations I've had, on, I've had him on, um, you know, several times, but I'm trying to, you know, open it up a little bit. But the thing is, I mean, I know that he just doesn't know or he can't know, he cannot prove it or he cannot touch it. But the thing is, he knows there's a military industrial complex, uh, corporate, you know, and of course, uh, every, you know, all these entities or whatever, few people, it's really military of just a few people, whether it be tens or hundreds, it doesn't matter. I mean, with, you know, of 8.5 billion and they control in a very, very, you know, evil, satanic and compartmentalized way. This is why so many, right? I mean, you, you probably don't know, that, but, but this is why, you know, a lot of people have been, you know, dropped dead, you know, scientists, engineers, inventors, uh, you know, brilliant people, you know, drop dead, you know, in very specific circumstances. Alone, I think in Belgium, it's like 120, 130 people trying to patent something. So, you know, don't fucking try to patent something. Just open sources, bring it out in the open and voila, you know, don't try, you know, the, you will get your own, you will get your, your, your very, very fair compensation. You know, I mean, the human species, human beings are very appreciative. They're very grateful. Their nature. It's not like, forget all these, you know, talks about like, oh, human nature is bad and blah, blah, blah. No, we need to do to create the fucking conditions, the environmental conditions, the monetary conditions. This is why Bitcoin is such a beautiful money information. Co uh, you know, uh, it's a it's a sort of value medium exchange <laughs> unit of account, and it has every you know property we could ever think of, that we could ever dreamt of, right? Peer to peer decentralized, unconfiscatable, absolutely limited, absolutely scarce in with 21 million and every Bitcoin, you don't need a whole Bitcoin, right? You don't need to buy a whole Bitcoin. A Bitcoin has 100 million Satoshis, right? And Jesus, there are still people thinking, oh my God, if I, you know, uh, if I, you know, I mean, just the, the pizza comparison, right? If, if you, you know, slice up, slice up into tiny molecular atomic size particles, the pizza, the pizza is a pizza, is one pizza. It doesn't, 
it's it's not grow, you know it's not gonna grow in the amount or in 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 the mass or anything it just uh you just have small and smaller pieces but the thing is going back to bitcoin every unit or subunit will have exponentially by orders of magnitude more purchasing power so technology as jeff wood says is essentially within its roots deflationary that means I mean, look at it, right? We got this mobile phone, right? I mean, look at it, what kind of tools you have on it. And it's all this technology, I mean, a lot of these technologies have become cheaper and cheaper and more efficient and better and more advanced and everything. What if I told you we could have that on every fucking level and dimension you can imagine? Energy, transportation, healing, medicine, whatever you want to call it fun space travel we could literally yes we can we can and i am definitely sure but that's a totally different can of worms we used to live much much longer but anyway forget about it just forget about it that i said that but we can we have the technology we have the knowledge and wisdom and intelligence <coughs> Sorry about that. My cough. To evolve. Beginning with our DNA, our information carrier, to our, you know, transforming our physicality, every cell, every, you know, whatever. You know, DNA, right? What is DNA, right? It's the elements, right? I mean, but then if you go deeper... With, you know, it's not just carbon and, you know, hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen, blah, blah. But it, it's just, it's just a name of an, right, of a, of an element, of a part, of a, of a, of an energy pack. So if you go deep into that, you go into plasma. So this is why I want to talk about magnetic fields. Because it's the time. It's overdue. And I think people, the kids, especially in school, should start questioning everything they've learned. I, unfortunately, I did that at a very late point in my life. Right? That's the unfortunate thing. I, I woke up very, very late, but I still did. I mean, I started, you know, by questioning cigarettes, you know, and 57 different parameters, beginning with addictive, you know, uh, enhancing technologies, uh, uh, additives, you know, filtration. Uh, I mean, 57 different parameters determine how and how much, you know, a cigarette is addictive and, it, you know, addictive enhancing, right? Uh, boosting the, this is what the cigarette industry, you know, found out within the last, whatever, 50, whatever years, right? How uh, toxic, uh, and, and uh, you know, DNA damaging and, yeah, all, all these properties, right? So, so you question and question, you go from one rabbit to another. And then you go into, you know, maybe ethnopharmacology, into, you know, what is addictive, what are addictive, what are, you know, what is natural, what is artificial, what is addictive, what is non-addictive, but psychedelic, right? What, you know, neuroplasticity which increases the neuroplasticity, right? So you go from one field, one, one fucking rabbit hole to another. And this is where it begins, you know, your comprehension process begins to enlighten, right? So, you know, I read a bunch of books about, uh, and especially from a nuclear engineer, but I don't want to mention his name because it's, uh, uh, yeah, for, for a specific reason. Um, but he, um, the guy's... Um, nuclear engineer I, and i'm and I'm, tr I'm in that point you know in one aspect i'm totally convinced this nuclear engineer i'm, uh, I'm talking about is um you know developed the principle of gravity or magnetic and gravitational forces or field strength in iran now i know it's a lot of to digest to swallow for a lot of people okay and you don't need you know don't take me at my word and just just do your own research 
it just of course you know it's not going to be in your face the you know the truth the facts factual evidence or whatever but i think in due time everything will just come out right not just not only iran right and as i said to ashton forbes whom i really love his work i i, I really respect and love his work and his dedication and his mission and his 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 you know his ethos you should you should definitely uh follow him but and i told him you know bring these people together you know it's not only like compartmental like usa you know like um you we have to try to bring all these experts you know willing who are willing you know to at least in in some way anonymously pseudonymously publicly whatever you know insiders whistleblowers experts engineers inventors these are the people you know i mean who have been and are being silenced threatened intimidated you know forced to sign a non-disclosure agreement on a military contract whatever or you know suicided <laughs> killed and they threaten, I mean, these people, you know, these entities we're talking about, they have no fucking, I mean, mercy, no fucking empathy, whatever. I mean, these people are just so fucking satanic evil. And we need to simultaneously bring this out, open source, everything. And not only me, but thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousand, millions of people out there. We just need a critical mass. All right. So this is going to be, a, I'm, I'm, try, I'm going to make it as short as possible. I'm going to just jump over to some paragraphs, but I think it's important. Um, and it's called, the title is uh, sort of the unified or unifying field theory. And um, so it's about the origin of, because a lot of people, you know, can associate with this, are familiar with electromagnetism, electromagnetic fields, electromagnetism how they created and within the existence of the other magnetic fields. And I will try somehow to interpret or explain it in my words, maybe some of these passages, some of these paragraphs. So, the, uh, you know, when a magnetic field is created, the creation, right, of magnetic field, and it has an interaction with physical matter, right? So everything, right? We are on planet Earth. We are pretty physical, right? We are totally obsessed with physicality and matter, right? So this interaction with physical matter or other fields, right, always leads to release of electromagnetic fields or energy equal to the energy of an electron, right? And you're familiar with electron. We all grew up in school, you know, learned about electron, but we never questioned. I mean, we never, <laughs> I never asked the professor, like, Hey professor, I mean, what is it? What is electron really? What what, what is it? What is it? What, where does it come from? Where, what's the origin? What, what you know? What is it made of? How is it created? Anyway, so in the universe, energy equal to energy of an electron, where there are no matters for magnetic fields to interact with, for electromagnetism to be created or to be released. So in these environments, electromagnetic fields do still exist and function. Now, electromagnetic fields or electron energy does not to be created by interaction of magnetic fields and matters as like in generators, like of present time. As in the universe, electromagnetism is constantly produced due to the difference of the magnetic field strength between two fields, between two fields and without presence of any matter of physical interaction of fields of of fields and matters, right? So, now because of that, because of the development of gravitational systems and having the ability to create different strength plasmatic magnetic fields within gravitational reactors or reactor cores with the capability of being able to create and maintain different magnetic field strengths in different parts of reactors where these fields are continuous and can be kept at a given constant strength level, that their difference in strength in fields can be equal to the magnetic field strength of an electron. Where electromagnetic current flow can be maintained from one magnetic field to another due to the field strength difference. Now, hold on a little, okay? 
just just bear with me a little bit. Uh, everything will just it'll just you know it will enlighten yourself. You uh, you'll see. So this has enabled us to create and maintain energy field or elect or uh, electric magnetic field strength of an electron in a plasma reactor without an electron being present or in motion within these reactors. Now, where electromagnetic fields are produced, you know, the production, right, of electromagnetic fields can be achieved by the simple creation of two magnetic fields. Now, this is important. With different magnetic field strengths of an electron that as fields are down-leveled from one magnetic field strength to another, one can create a flow of magnetic field equal to magnetic field strength of an electron. Thus, the creation of electromagnetic current or production of flow of electromagnetism can be achieved. Now, where electromagnetism or current of magnetic fields of an electron can be created at any level of magnetic field strength, as long as a strength level difference between two fields in magnetic fields exists, and where in plasmatic magnetic fields, the strength level difference of the fields causes the flow of magnetic fields from one field strength to another can be caused of what is called commonly electromagnetic field flow, which can be maintained. Now, therefore, we, we can have electromagnetic fields of any strength. This being matter. Now, what is you know, called antimatter is actually sort of a essence principle matter or dark matter. People love to talk, talk about dark matter, but it's actually transition matter, right? Between two other field strengths of matter and principle right? Matter and, 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 and essence is a transition. This is the dark matter. As long as the magnetic field strength difference between two field strengths is equal to the magnetic field strength of an electron or magnetic fields of matters of an electron. Now, <laughs> sorry about that. Or the magnetic field strength that can affect the motion of other fields to be equal to the magnetic field strength of an electron. Then at this stage, one achieves the electromagnetic current thought flow of magnetic fields from one st stronger to the weaker field, which the magnetic field strength of the flow is equal to the magnetic field of the magnetic field of an electron. Now, let's talk about electromagnetism, just, you know, sort of an excursion in the real world, right, of electromagnetism. In the real world of existence, all matters all matters do not have boundaries as tangible matters do, but the boundaries are dictated and created through the space they cover through and by the dynamic magnetic field effects, where this space of effect of the magnetic field is called the environmental or environmental plasma or environment of plasma of these fields. So it's important, the environmental conditions, right? Thus, when we speak of plasma, or plasma of an electron, proton, or neutron. What we talk about here is the space and environment where the effects of these magnetic fields of the total structure and the entity of, for example, an electron can cover. Thus, an electron is in fact nothing but a space in an environment where, which the total effects of all magnetic fields of all matters and fields can be detected or be contained in. Now to this end, when an entity possesses magnetic field strength equal to total magnetic field strength of an environment within the plasma of an electron, then this entity is in possession of mixture of dynamic magnetic fields of an electron, or this entity has magnetic field strength measure of an electron or what is called, it possesses electromagnetic fields. Now, where this space being in possession of magnetic fields by its nature has to interact with other magnetic fields and entities made of magnetic fields in its surrounding, where these interactions can be attraction, right, gravitation, or repulsion, magnetic or magnetical. Now, this is why the direction of, of motion of this space of fields or electromagnetic fields is totally dependent on other magnetic fields within its environment 
which their environments, total strength in gravitation and repulsion dictates the direction of the motion of the plasma of an electron magnetic fields. Now, um, it is important to understand that the structure of an electron, in fact, is a plasma. And it is like the plasma of a proton, but in a smaller scale in the mass compared to proton. What does it mean? It means a plasma has all the magnetic field strength, meaning matter, antimatter, what people call is actually principle or essence matter, right? Principle matter and transition matter, which is which they call dark matter. It's the same thing. Whether you're calling an electron, proton, neutron, it's a package. It's a plasmatic, spherical, if you can imagine, a spherical entity ball. But now this is where I do a very exotic excursion, but when it travels, it adapts to the environment and it becomes a Fiji arrow. The, 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 as the environmental conditions, because it needs to, it needs to travel by infinite, by orders of magnitude faster and faster with, with no friction whatsoever. So that means it changes its shape and form. Now we're going to come to, to, to go back, come back to this later, you know? All right. Of course, uh, you know, and then we have, of course, fragments, and then we have the light, the structure of the light, but that's a totally different chapter now, all right? Thus, the electron is and has the structure of a proton or a neutron, actually, and similarly possesses all its three states of matters, matter, antimatter, which is principal matter, and dark matter, which is transition matter. And its content is, pro is proportioned to its no neutron plasma prior to its decay into two plasmas of the proton and electron. As electron is made of electromagnetic field strength of varying strength, this being the reason why its current and its flow can be influenced by other magnetic fields, as magnetic fields of different strength do influence each other's path of motion and speed of motion in different matters and matters environment, where at the same time and by the same principle, the dynamics, or if you want to call it the orbits of the electron around its proton is due to the continuous repositioning, right? Now we're going to come back, you know, when, especially when uh, Ashton Forms talks about these orbs, you know, in the videos, you see these orbs, right, in a triangular sort of a star formation, and then the fourth one, you know, for the directional, you know, vortex, whatever, it's a different chapter, but you're going to start connecting the dots, you know, once you're into this research. <coughs> so the continuous repositioning, the alternating attraction and repulsion of the smaller matter parts of the electron <coughs> in respect to the large matters magnetic field of the proton. This being the reason why the trajectory why the trajectory of the electron is said to be uncertain. Now, where by the same principle, the magnetic field source of all matters and matters and their different magnetic field strength is the cause and the sources of all effects and matters we observe in the universe. Now, this nuclear engineer I'm talking about, who you know wrote also these articles and these books and and developed, right, <laughs> and created the principle of gravity or falsely called anti-gravity. It's, it's, and that's what he says. He says, it's not anti-gravity. It just, especially, you, you create a specific condition of magnetic gravitational field strength. Anyway, so how the gravity is created through interaction of two or more, this is very important. What is gravity? What are gravitational forces? How is it created? What's the origin? So the gravity is created through interaction of two or more magnetic fields and how mass is the measure between the measure of difference between gravitational fields and magnetic fields 
created by the interaction of the same two or more magnetic fields. Thus, even mass is magnetic field strength dependent too. Further, the relation between mass and energy, which both are magnetic field strength dependent and has been you know, explained numerous times, energy is the measure of the mass and the rate of its speed of transfer in its own matter's medium. This being matter, antimatter, which is principal matter, and dark matter, which is transition matter. From one magnetic field strength to another, depending upon attraction or a gravitational strength from one magnetic field to another, where this speed is magnetic fields, orders of magnitudes, strength dependent. Where transmutation from one magnetic field strength of matter to another, like from matter to antimatter, which is transition matter. Um, I'm sorry, uh, from, from matter to principal matter or antimatter, with, with what they call, can lead to creation of current or electromagnetism within the given environment of the pl same plasma itself too. In fact, in the universe, one has proton magnetic field current flows or protomagnetism too. This current is the flow of magnetic fields up to another, which are equal to a magnetic field strength of one proton. These magnetic fields are basis of the cosmic magnetic field storms and have more profound effects on the structural integrity of the galaxy than the weaker counterparts electromagnetic fields. Further, now more as now we understand the concept of plasma of an electron, and even by the same principle, one can understand the principal structure of the plasma of the proton, and by the same measure of the plasma of the neutron. Hence, in the universe, we have observed plasmas of neutrons in motion, which these have the same ability as electromagnetism and protomagnetism in motion, and these are called the neutral magnetism or neutron magnetism, where these are the space in the universe which carry magnetic field strength equal to the strength of magnetic fields of all matters and fields which make the structure of an entity a neutron. In fact, what is called a neutron star, these in reality do not possess neutrons, but these stars emitted magnetic field strength in the range of magnetic gravitational fields of neutron, hence tangibility of the neutron becomes later on as they disassociate themselves from the other fields in the environment. And at this point, they create dynamic space or environment or what we call plasma of the neutron, where these magnetic fields can exercise the influences on other fields within the surrounding. Now, further to this explanation, one can simply understand that in the matter world or in the magnetic field strength of matter, the gravitation and repulsion between these two, these magnetic fields are in the level of matter magnetic field strength of electron, proton, or neutron. Hence, this is why in the matter world, like in solid magnets, solid magnets, right? Magnetic or magnetism or attraction or gravitation is the attraction between the magnetic field strength of matter components of the plasma of electron, proton, or neutron of that matter. Thus, this being the reason why in the physical world, certain matters are attracted to each other, that they make certain types of molecules or physical matters, right? Now, chemistry, right, makes more sense where the attraction of atoms to make up any matter is it, it is entirely magnetic gravitational strength, dependent and no other factor. Magnetical or magnetic, magnetical and gravitational field strength dependent and no other factor. So you're starting to just sleep on it, just think about it, it'll start, you know, you start connecting the dots and, you know, the enlightenment will come. For me, came a long time ago, but for me, in essence, it was so always important, you know, to understand the bigger picture, the essence of it, the root. Whether you talk about Bitcoin or creation or plasma 
or spaceships or whatever, right? Or, enter, or you know, teleportation or warp drive or whatever, right? What's the source? What's the origin? How do you connect the dots? Now, where these attractions or gravitation of atoms or molecules in respect to each other, on other hand, is environmental magnetic field dependent too. This being the reason why we can observe certain matters in one environment and not in the others. This being due to the fact that the environments themselves are made of, are created or are conditioned due to interaction and magnetic gravitational fields of other magnetic fields. Now let's talk for short moments because it's more tangible about permanent magnets. Sometimes in the future, you know, there will come more and more information, you know, in books about this, but by this nuclear engineer, which, you know, which I'm sort of uh, quoting uh, most of the time. Um, so it is, and, and you know, it, it will become clear, you know, about the, or, uh, the, the universal origin of magnetic fields how magnetic fields are generated, how plasmatic and specific matters, magnetic fields exist in different dimensions, right? So in simple terms, the matter magnetic field of what we call permanent solid magnets are mono, monomagnetic field strength, which are at the levels of the matter components of the plasma of an electron, which are in sequence with the plasmatic magnetic field matters of the proton of their element. Now, what this means is that when plasmatic magnetic field of the matter component of an atom's proton and electron field strength become interconnected and in field balance, then a continuous field between the matter fields of the proton and electron is set to operate, where in the case of, for example, iron, iron at Earth magnetic and gravitational field strength, this connection is set to be holding and hence creating a permanent magnet. Right, so just keep it in the back, back zone, back brain, the environmental conditions. Right. Now this is why, as one establishes interconnection between electron and proton internal field strength, then due to the more of supply from the proton, then the matter stays in one field strength for indefinite for indefinite time. Now this the the reason being. For example, why magnetic fields in level of the water molecules do not have strength to attract, for example, copper atoms gravitational level, but can attract other water mo molecules. In fact, iron will not be magnetic as it is on Earth in most of positions in the universe. This being due to the fact that even permanent magnetic properties or characteristics of all matter are or of all matters are their environmental and magnetic gravitational strength dependent. This is why the permanent magnetic in solar system it is it's no simi similarly the same as in other solar systems or galaxies, right? Secondly, magnetic fields or plasmatic magnetic fields are independent of matter, but dependent of magnetic fields or of magnetic gravitational fields of the matter, antimatter, which is principal matter, and dark matter, which is transition matter, of plasma of electron and proton too. But at the same time, it is important to understand that to have long-term or permanent magnets, the antimatter or principal matter components of the plasmas have to and are positioned that they establish a continuous field between the other antimatter or principal matter component of the atoms of the same matters too. Now, what is the difference between conductors and superconductors? Now, the, the present world of physics has a sort of a dilemma. With the fundamental principles of conductors and superconductors. Now, where this should not be so, if scientists couldn't understand the real term difference between the current flow of electron and current flow of magnetic field flux equal to the magnetic field strength of an electron. What this <laughs> means is that in conductors, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, in conductors, the motion 
of or vibration equal to or vibration of an electron causes the flow of current in the matter. Whereas in superconductors, it is not the flow of the electron or the vibration of an electron that causes the flow of the current, but current flow is caused by the flow of electromagnetic field strength equal to magnetic field strength of an electron, which flows through the material. Where in the case of superconductors, there's no need, there is no need for vibration or motion of matter. As with superconductors, the same magnetic field strength equal to the magnetic field of an electron flows through the superconductor materials. Let's see where this is going. Where in the case of superconductors, the lattice boundary of mo molecules or atoms are so closely and perfectly packed that the electromagnetic field, electromagnetic flows through the lattice structure without a need for vibration of the electrons of the atoms or molecules of that structure. In fact, one can say that the same electromagnetic field which starts from one end of the superconductor itself will be traveling out of the other end of the superconductor irrespective, irrespective of the length of the material of the superconductor. In the case of conductors vibration, vibration of electron needs kinetic energy and hence loses where in the case of superconductors, the structure of the material is so that no electron moves, but the material has the ability to transfer the electromagnetic field strength equal to an electron magnetic field strength. Hence, this is why literally no kinetic move, no friction no resistance and no loss. Wow, got it? That's key to understanding. The superconductivity of the matter is lattice position structure dependent. And this is usually better observed in SP3 is called or diamond structured materials. Now, <laughs> in, in conductors, in so-called normal conductors, electrons, have to move, vibrate, right? And in superconductors, magnetic field strength equal to magnetic field strength of an electron needs to be transmitted. And as there are no physical, there's no physical motion of matters within the superconductor, thus there are no lo loses, no losses. This resulting in faster, exponentially faster, transmission of magnetic fields without losses. Now I'm gonna skip the uh, the the chapter or the you know the the sort of the uh, yeah the discussion about current and impotence because it goes a little bit yeah it's a little bit too much for this session for this uh, video and about experimental uh, point observation but I'm gonna go do a sort of a summary right. Um, sort of a conclusion, right? Uh, a bigger picture. Now, the electric charges, magnetic field and gravitational fields are all of the same and of one origin, where the gravity is due to pulling effect of two dissimilar poles of the same plasmatic magnetic fields interactions and magnetic fields and magnetic field and the magnetic field is due to repulsion of two similar magnetic poles and electric current is due magnetic is 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 due mag magnitude of the flow of magnetic field from one field to another thus this is why the grand the big unifying or unified unifying field theory is the magnetic field the essence and the missing link has been to understand that, that gravity is the product of interaction of two plasmatic magnetic fields 
mass is the difference between the magnetic field strength of similar and dissimilar field strength, gravity and magnetosphere forces strength of the book. It says here, there's a book about it and the energy is the measure of the magnetic field that is transferred between magnetic fields at the speed that magnetic field can travel within a given matters medium for it to be able to move from one magnetic field strength to another and the electromagnetic current is the rate think of it as a speed maybe um is so the and the electromagnetic current is the rate of movement of the magnetic field from one field to another and where the electromagnetic field is due to magnetic field strength difference and is the equal to the magnetic field strength of an electron. Thus, the unified and common field, the essence, is the magnetic field between the gravity, mass, energy, and electromagnetic field. Thus, unifying field theory, the unifying theory for the first time, is complete, and it is now comprehended, understood, right? Where magnetic field interactions makes the gravitational fields and the flow magnetic field from one field to another creates the electromagnetic current. Energies can be created from one, from any ambient, from any ambient, depending on what, what wants to produce or obtain from these currents of fields. Electromagnetism is created as magnetic field strength are transferred from one field strength to another. And in the process of the flow, of magnetic fields, this leads to creation of measurable, the creation of measurable field movement or measurable current from what is called electromagnetic fields. This simple sentence brings a whole of comprehension of understanding between magnetic fields and the flow and its flow from one magnetic field strength to another and is the grand link, the huge link between the gravity, the mass and energy and this finalizes. This concludes the long-lasting missing link of the unifying field theory. Unifying field, the magnetic field. Now, well, now one can understand that current, current is the rate or speed of flow of magnetic field from one strength to another, and the connection between electromagnetism, gravity, mass, and energy is now finally understood. Thus, the origin of all things tangible and their effects is magnetic field rooted. And magnetic fields are the origin of all and unifying field in the world of creation. Now, the thing is, I mentioned in the beginning um, the suppressed technologies, right? Systematically within the, you know, controlled by the central banking fiat, you know, financial, military, industrial corporation complex, right? Extremely secretive, extremely compartmentalized. Now, whether they're partially at least, you know, whether they have had this, you know, at least the principal technologies from so-called extraterrestrial, interterrestrials, aliens, so reverse engineers or the, you know, the Hitler's Nazi scientists, you know, they're, they've done a lot of things, right? They had, had, you know, genius as scientists. You know, the guy who, you know, uh, worked with water, I forgot his name, sorry, I got a blackout right now, but, you know, um, um, he'll come back to me, but uh, probably you, 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 uh, you probably find him out. So, and it's been ongoing, right? Not only, if, I mean, for at least 75, 80 years. So the principles I just explained to, just for, you know, the, the, just for the purpose of understanding, comprehending, connecting the dots to understand what is the unifying field. And this is the magnetic field. What is the essence and origin of gravity or gravitational force? It is the magnetic field or magnetic fields, right? The interaction, repulsion, the, uh, the pulling, the repulsion, right? What is electromagnetism? What is matter? What what are the different matters, uh, uh, magnetic gravitational field strengths? What is an electron, proton, neutron? All this is, I think, important and essential to, you know, introduce yourself 
introduce all ourselves, you know, into the into the realm, into the world, into the dimension of comprehending these, you know, almost, I mean, nearly because we cannot imagine, because most people cannot imagine, let alone comprehend, you know, because it's all like super magic and it's all, oh, woo, woo. And no, but we need to understand what, and once we understand the principle, the, the essence and the creation of magnetic fields, then everything makes sense. Then spirituality, the creator, the creation, your soul, your physicality, your emotions, your emotions, energy in motion. And all the, 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 the spectrum of light, right? I know, you know, uh, David Icke, you know, marketed himself very bad in, from the very beginning, 25, 30 years ago. But now he's really good at it. He starts off by showing you the light spectrum. What can you see within the huge, you know, lengthy or whatever big, huge uh, spectrum of light? You see only a spectrum with our eyes because this is what our eyes, of course, connected to our brain and, you know, um, the, the the essence of our soul is within that vacuum that 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 pea sized hole you know the they call about they talk about people talk about pineal gland and still, you know this is was it's still matter it's still physicality but there's a hole right inside and this is where we start you know where we start understanding oh aha right especially when you are in a different dimension consciousness right? Psychedelic, as they call it, or different magnetic gravitational field strike observation, consciousness, thinking, processing, observing, absorbing, right? Sending out what, what you think only our eyes absorb. No, they also send out. So this is why it adjusted. It is, it is adapted to the magnetic and gravitational field strength of our, right? Planet, Earth, environment, right? So everything will make more and more sense. And then eventually, faster and faster, exponentially, by orders of magnitude, the process will accelerate and we understand, oh my God, oh my creator, maybe, maybe we were able, we maybe a very, 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 very long time ago, we had been able, we had those powers we had those capabilities rooted within our information carrier again created out of magnetic fields right or magnetic and gravitational field strength so if you go within deeper into your dna i know i'm jumping from one rabbit hole to another from one alice in wonderland to another but this is important this is essential Try to stay focused and try to see and feel and comprehend the much, much bigger picture simultaneously in synchronicity. Because once you go into, yes, physicality, biology, chemistry, physics, neuropsychopharmacology, proteins, amino acids, right? DNA, right? But then if you go deeper and deeper into the nucleus, and then you talk about, you know, things we never understood. We never questioned. We never asked. We never fucking understood anything about it, right? What is an electron? What is a proton? What is a neutron? What is the nucleus of a neutron? Then you understand. Then you begin to understand, to comprehend the bigger picture. Magnetic fields. And then, even without psychedelics, even without... DMT without magic mushroom or psilocybin or I don't know, ayahuasca or whatever, even without all that, maybe in a slowly, maybe in a more sober, maybe in a more, you know, tr smooth, traditional process, you begin to comprehend. Maybe you even begin to, because it is magnetic fields, your emotions, <laughs> your feelings, your consciousness. Whether you meditate or not, you think, you dream, you wake up, you give, you love, you absorb, you give more, you absorb more, you love more, you receive more. And finally, 
you begin to comprehend the essence of creation, the essence of creator, the essence of magnetic fields, and then gravity, and then gravitational, and then, you know, universes, galaxies, cosmos, essence, non-physicality. And then you begin losing fear. You know, you always hear Ben Davidson in the end, but, you know, he's got his own, you know, spiritual journey. I'm, I, I know that. I just know that, right? But it would be really interesting to have a real deep dive discussion with him or with Ashton Forbes, because I think in one of his posts, I'm, I can't pull it up now, but if you go on, <laughs> if you go on, uh, if you go on uh, Ashton Forbes, all right? Um, he's got one of his la latest um, uh, posts. Uh, he starts talking about spirituality. And this is where I'm like, okay, now he's at the point where he starts, you know, to really, you know, begin to connect the dots, to begin to think and understand and comprehend and feel much more holistically. But... I can't find it. Ashton Forbes, his Twitter handle is, uh, yeah, just X. Ashton, he's also following me uh, since recently, but, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I want to have a really deep dive, holistic, you know, interconnected with other, you know, few, let's say, you know, selected uh, investigative, you know, researchers, scientists, journalists, insiders, whistleblowers. Um, yeah, I can't find it right now, but it's okay. I, I can't find it. But he starts talking about the spiritual aspect of, of everything he's been, you know, uh, disseminating and spreading information in the interviews, the talks, the conversations he's had. He, he does an extremely brilliant job. Amazing. Amazing, the guy. I really love this guy. So I'm, I'm trying to bring all these people together. Ashton Forbes, Ben Davidson, who knows, you know, Joe Rogan. I mean, real people, the dark journalist, uh, dark journalist, uh, what's his name? Um, List, something like that. Like, like uh, Daniel List, I think it's called, dark journalist. I mean, these are these are people who know their shit, right? Who know their stuff. I'm, yeah, I know my shit too, but I, I'm, you know, I'm the more like holistic, like understanding, comprehending the bigger picture, connecting the dots, connecting the people. And, you know, I feel that the accelerating time process, you know, the acceleration, I, you know, you can see, you, you can observe it literally. And this is what I'm saying, people, wake up, right? Please wake up, S share this video with your friends, with your family, whoever. If they're not ready, they're not ready. But just plant the seed, they'll come later. In one month, six months, 12 months, one year, two years, the sooner the better. But There'll be an, you know, there'll be a triggering point, a tipping point, an angle, a perspective, something, an experience, right? People have, and then they come back. They won't admit it in your face, you know, that it's actually was, it was you planted the seed. Whatever topic that is, you know, nutrition, uh, whatever, bioweb, injection, vaccine, whatever, right? Technologies, central banks, fiat money, you know. Bitcoin, you know, the huge rabbit hole, you know, wow, what can we achieve? This is the root solution. Well, I mean, we could have a wonderful, you know, beyond our imagination, lives, existence, civilization, evolution, beyond our wildest dreams and imagination comprehension. My name is Kevin Davani. I'm the host of the Kevin Davani Connection Show, or just in short, the Davani Connection Show. And please uh, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, X, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twi uh, Telegram, uh, Instagram. Kevin Davani is my name. And if you have, please, any questions, get back to me or any suggestions or any, I don't have any contact connections you have. Please help me connect Ashton Force with Joe Rogan, with dark journalists, uh, with other insiders, whistleblowers, experts, investigative journalists. Let's sit together with inventors, engineers, scientists, 
it's out there. It's already existing. You just can't, just because you can't, you still can't. <laughs> or we can't, most of it, you know? Most people just can't imagine it. <laughs> so next time, I'm going to talk about the creation of motion in the universe. That's the next paper. So I'm going to tell you the name of this of this nuclear engineer, and he's a brilliant thinker. It's just the whole organization behind it. I'm, you know, I'm just, I just don't, uh, yeah, I'm, you know, there's a lot of people who exited the, the organization, but I'm confident. The, the one thing I'm sure of is that he, within, uh, I think, a time span of six months, a long time ago, I think pretty long, a long time, let's say 10, 15 years ago, he, Miran Tavakori Kesh, Miran Tavakori, K-E-S-H-E, right? He developed and he understood, he, 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 you know, he always thought us at the box. He was able to connect the dots and, you know, he just understands it from, a, from different angles and perspectives, you know, the technology, the science. Would it be nuclear science or plasma technology? And this is what Iran has now, amongst other countries. You know, whatever you call it, plasma defense technology, spaceship technology, magnetic gravitational field strength defense technology, whatever you want to call but in due time. Unfortunately, I think there, there will come a point in time, you know, where Israel, United States, UK, whatever the Anglo-American uh, Zionist uh, military industrial, you know, warmongering, you know, destructive, destructive satanic complex will just, they just want World War III. And because everything is, you know, popping and, and bursting, the fiat bubble, the debt, debt bubble, with you know, with 2.1 quadrillion US dollars, literally, with all derivatives and unfunded liabilities, so everything is coming together. Everything is culminating. So thank you again for your time, for your attention, and please spread this video, share this video, and help me connect and have a thorough, holistic, deep conversation, deep dive rabbit hole conversation with Ashton Forbes, Joe Rogan, Taki Carlson. Um, dark journalists, you know, and so many other, whether they want to stay anonymous, pseudonymous, everything is, you know, possible, you know, we can still, you know, and we can bring out these technologies independent, you know, of all these super compartmentalized, controlling, obsessive, you know, destructive, you know, genocidal entities, corporations, organizations. It's beyond description. My name is Kay Vandavani. And I'll see you soon again. Thank you so much. Bye.